Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're diving into a common challenge faced by many developers. Our viewer asks, can I add new custom tables inside my ASP.NET database in an ASP.NET MVC5 project? Let's break down the viewer's situation. They are using Visual Studio 2013 to create an ASP.NET MVC5 web project with ASP.NET Identity 2.2. This setup automatically generates a database, including a table called ASP.NET Users, which stores user information. Now our viewer is building an ERP system and wants to add a custom table named Asset to store asset information. This table will include columns for created by and modified by, which should reference the user IDs from the ASP.NET users table. The viewer is unsure if they can add this custom table directly to the automatically generated database and establish a foreign key relationship between asset and ASP.NET users. They also have concerns about potential issues if they upgrade their ASP.NET identity version in the future. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through a question, going through those answers, and hopefully it leads to your solution. Remember, stay a little bit crazy, just like me, to get through to your resolution. Now let's get started. Yes, you can add your custom table asset inside the automatically generated database. To do this, you'll need to create a new model for the asset table in your ASP.NET MVC project. Next, you'll need to set up the foreign key relationship between the asset table and the ASP.NET users table. This can be done using data annotations or Fluent API in your DB Context class. Now, regarding your concern about future upgrades to ASP.NET Identity, it's important to note that while upgrading may change the underlying tables, your custom table and its relationships should remain intact as long as you don't modify the primary key structure of the ASP.NET users table. If you decide not to add custom tables directly to the automatically generated database, you can create a separate database for your ERP system and still establish relationships using the same foreign key logic. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. Yes, you can add custom tables to your ASP.NET database in an MVC5 project. It's important to keep identity and business context separate to avoid security issues. When creating a user, you can establish a one-to-one -one relationship between the ASP.NET users and your custom people table. This allows you to manage user data effectively. You can extend your view and view model to include people information during registration, ensuring both user and business data are created together. Remember, the identity model should not be directly accessed. Instead, use the Owen context to manage user actions securely. In summary, maintain a clear separation between identity and business logic and utilize the appropriate methods for user management.
Let's now look at another user suggested answer. You can add custom tables to your ASP.NET MVC5 project by creating a new model and adding it as a DB set in your application DB context. For example, the asset model can include properties like created by and user ID, linking it to the application user. It's important to test updates before deploying to production, especially when working with identity packages. In a one-to-many relationship, you can link assets to users, allowing for easy querying of assets by user. When deciding between code first and database first, Consider how you want to map your entities to the database. Typically, both application DB context and application user are created when you start a project with individual authentication. And that's it, guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers.